Hey guys, it's Manu and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about how to add fats on your keto diet. That's right, you might be starting the keto diet and you're scared. You see that at least 70% of your daily calories should be coming in from fat. The truth is, at least all throughout my life, the nutrition and diet industry taught me to be afraid of fat. So it took me a while to understand good sources when I, care, when I can get good quality fat to introduce into my keto diet. If you're just starting this lifestyle, um, you shouldn't stress too much. You should basically be thinking about limiting your daily net carbs to 20 grams or less a day. But then as the weeks go by, you do need to start thinking about how to balance your fat and protein macros. Uh, it's usually very easy to limit the carbs, especially once you know that vegetables, fruits, um, grains, legumes also have carbs. If you know all of the foods that have carbs, it's very easy for you to limit them. Then protein, well, that's usually pretty easy to come by, especially if you eat meat and, and dairy. But then when it comes to fat, it can be very, very overwhelming. Listen, don't worry, I'm gonna give you 10 quick tips on different ways you can add fat without it being stressful for you. Number one is bulletproof coffee or bulletproof drinks in general. These delicious hot drinks, they could be cold as well, uh, add a ton of fat to your diet, especially if you don't know how to eat it or you feel that you don't want to eat anymore. A bulletproof coffee can have anywhere from 100 to 400 calories, almost worth of fat, all of them. Uh, so this is going to be a really, really good way to add fats in, especially if you're using high quality fat. So if you're using butter, um, if you can, make sure it's grass-fed. Make sure you're using good quality heavy cream or if you're using coconut oil or MCT oil. The good thing about a Bulletproof coffee is I usually start my days with it. It, it like plans my day off to a really, really good start because uh, I know that if I'm out and about and I can't really cook my meals, I might be able to get maybe like um, a lean piece of chicken or some salad and not worry about having to get like um, good quality oils if I'm out and about. So bulletproof coffee, great way to add fat macros. Number two is make sure your snacks are fatty. So no more snacking on celery and that's it. Just make sure there's something um, that adds fat macros. For example, cheese is a great, great snack. Um, a charcuterie board type thing. So if you're eating prosciutto, uh, salami, pepperoni, make sure they're good quality, but those kinds of snacks, pork rinds can really add um, good fats to your diet. Number three, and this is another snack, adding nut butters. Well, nuts are a bit controversial because <laughs> they can be very addictive they can be inflammatory and they can be expensive. Um, so if you can control your urge to eat the whole bag of almonds or two or three tablespoons of peanut butter, almond butter, um, adding nut butters and nuts is a good way to add more fat. Especially, um, I don't know if you like doing chia puddings, I think I've shown you the recipe before, or smoothies. I usually add a tablespoon of almond butter and it really ups the fat and it's great. Um, small side note on peanuts, I know they're legumes, um, but hey, the avocado is a fruit and we still eat it in the keto diet. The good thing about peanuts, especially here in Latin America, is that they're very affordable um, compared to other nuts. The bad thing, being legumes, they're a bit more inflammatory, but they have good macros, they have good fiber, so um, net carb-wise, they're really low. Just make sure that if you are addicted to them, you control the portion size. Mayo, I know. As easy as it sounds, good quality mayo is easy to introduce to egg salad, tuna salad, just put in some um, on top of your protein and it's gonna add a bunch of fat macros. If you can, just make sure um, it's either made with olive oil, avocado oil, a good high quality cold press uh, oil 
try to avoid as much as you can um, mayos made from vegetable oils such as sunflower oil, canola, uh, soy. They're just really inflammatory so even if we are doing the keto diet we're doing more harm to our body by introducing those oils to our diet. Avocados. I can't stress them enough. I eat at least one avocado a day. I would say one avocado a day. Amazing source of healthy fats with fiber and potassium which is going to be great if you are missing electrolytes being on the keto diet. Avocados are amazing. I know they're not easy to find depending on where you live but if you can, can find them they're totally totally worth it. If you like eating salads like I do, I know you're supposed to only eat meat and cheese on the keto diet, but that's not true. There are a bunch of low carb vegetables we can still eat and enjoy doing a low carbon keto diet. So if you do like salads like I do, just make a good high quality oil dressing. You can either make it at home with a good uh, high quality oil or in the market nowadays there are a bunch of brands with clean, paleo, keto friendly ingredients that can help you add fat into your salad without a bunch of sugar. If you're getting to nighttime and realize you're missing a bunch of your fat macros, it might be that you're not planning your eating day ahead. It's super easy for me to think one day in advance what I'm gonna eat and that way I know where I might not be getting enough fat. So that's for example, if I know I'm gonna be eating out all day, I make sure my first meal um, is fat heavy, that's gonna keep me full for hours, that's gonna give me a boost of energy and that's how I make sure I do get enough fat throughout the day. Also, um, by planning ahead, you might, you might know that you're not gonna be able to eat a lot of fat, so you might pack um, fat bombs. Fat bombs are basically all fat, keto friendly desserts usually made with some kind of um, MCT oil or um, coconut oil or high quality cocoa powder and they're basically fat. Um, now there are companies that make uh, shelf stable fat bombs so you can just take them around, pop one or two and that's going to keep you satisfied, it's going to keep you uh, not wanting any sweets and it's going to add a lot of fat macros. When choosing your protein just make sure that you're choosing fattier cuts. Um, not a lot of chicken breast, not a lot of like really lean ground beef, make sure you're getting chicken thighs, chicken legs. If you do eat a lot of ground beef and pork like I do, make sure they're a fattier blend. Um, just make sure that when you are eating, for example, um, the skin of the chicken uh, or other birds, try, to, try for them to be as high quality as possible because poultry um, stores the toxins and any hormones it's been given in the fat. So just make sure that if you are buying um, chicken with the skin on that it's really good high quality. Also MCT oil. It's just super easy to mix with your Bulletproof coffee with different drinks. Uh, Perfect Keto has a really, really good one. They also have MCT powder, really good to make recipes with. And last but not least, super important, especially if you like vegetables in the keto diet like I do, make sure you cook them in fat. Listen, especially low carb vegetables are like sponges. So zucchini, uh, broccoli, they soak up the fat you cook them in. So make sure you're not steaming your vegetables if you are missing fat from your diet. Just make sure you cook those vegetables in really good quality fat. I think I've said good quality fat like 10,000 times, but it is important because even though fat is the key ally in this keto diet, um, there are a lot, a lot of bad quality fats that will do more harm such as the vegetable oils we talked earlier about. Thank you guys for watching this video and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, everyone's new basically, it's only been going on for a few weeks now. My main channel is in Spanish, uh, I'll, lift, I'll leave the link below if you want to follow me there. Maybe you know Spanish or you want to practice your Spanish. Um, right now I just want to keep spreading the low carb and keto good word into the world and I know a lot of you only speak English 
So that is why I decided to start a new channel um, in English, which is not my native tongue, but it's perfect. I get to practice, which I love. Uh, so if you're new, please do subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video that it's two, three times a week. Also, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any other tips on how to add more fats into your diet. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.